programs are written in UTF-16 and um, comments um, identifiers uh, that's things like variable names um, chars and string literals that's um, things like the hello world string that was um, sort of an example program we'll come to talk about strings later um, can use any Unicode character um, everything else uses ASCII okay now if you want to use a character that's not on the keyboard what you can do is use a Unicode escape and um, this is what Unicode escapes are like they just backslash U followed by zero or more occurrences of U which may seem a little strange but I'll come to this in a minute and then four hex digits now with a Unicode escape that means that all programs can be written using only ASCII because whenever you come to a non-ASCII character you can just use a Unicode escape you don't have to if you've got it on your keyboard and you can, or you can find some other way of entering it you can use that, you don't have to use a Unicode escape now there is um, a standard way to transform any program into one using only ASCII, the one, one that uses only ASCII okay? and um, what you do is you add an extra U to any existing Unicode escape and replace any non-ASCII character with a Unicode escape with, with just a single U. All right. Uh, that's why this is allowed as a Unicode escape, repeated U's. Okay. And um, this process, of course, is completely reversible. You can just do the reverse and get exactly the same program you started with. And the compiler treats both as identical because it's um, it's designed to um, regard any any number of views here as, as insignificant after well, the initial one yeah. now the the first thing that the compiler does is replace any Unicode escape sequence with the actual character okay it doesn't do this in your source it um, does this in an internal copy that it keeps and there is only one pass through the source so if you have something like that, um, it becomes that because 5C is backslash. This doesn't get processed again, that's it. There's only one pass through it. Also, you like something else, because backslash backslash is an escape code in its own right for slash. If there is an even number of backslashes preceding the U, it is not treated as a Unicode escape. Okay. Right, here's some examples just to make that clear. Backslash U000A is the Unicode escape for line feed. But of course, an actual line feed is not allowed to appear in a character literal or strings and the first thing the compiler does is to replace it with an actual line feed so what's happening is it's getting replaced effectively with the actual character here you can see uh, it's like a bit more extreme um, if you count up those there's an odd number of backslashes in front of it so that gets translated you lose one backslash all those U's and uh, 42 is B that on the other hand is completely unchanged because there's an even number of backslashes in front of the U. Here's an example. This is the character literal for quotes backslash backslash quote because that's the quote mark and that is uh, the other quote mark and those are two backslashes so you can do that, that actually works here's something even more extreme, even more bizarre this in fact is a, a double written in hex, so it's a floating point double in hex because that is uh, backslash u0058 is an x so it goes 0x 
uh, and then uh, right, that's a zero, <laughs> zero x zero. That I think is a p, and that's one zero, and that is d for double. Right. <laughs> so as you can see, you can sprinkle these about liberally and make the whole thing completely impossible to understand. That's not the idea, but I'm, I'm just trying to show you, um, if I show you the worst case, you, you might understand what's going on. So, okay, so what happens is, the minute the compiler sees this, it replaces it with the real character, the actual one that it's equivalent to, and uh, then proceeds to process it. So that's why, that's what it, why it does what it does. Okay, here's something that's uh, nice and easy to understand, uh, comments. Um, you can write comments in your code uh, in two different ways. Um, it's always a good idea to put them in. There's the end of line comment, which we've seen. It starts with a double slash and ends at the end of the line. And the traditional comment, which starts with slash star and ends with star slash. Anything in comments is just completely ignored by a compiler. Um, they don't nest. So, and also um, double slash is ignored in the traditional comment, and the traditional comment markers are ignored in the underlying comments. Um, so you you'd use these traditional comments whether you, um, you want the comments stretching over more than one line, or to, you don't have to. Of course, you can just put a lot of these in on each line, but uh, this is often done. So this, for example, that starts there, uh, ignores everything between there, there, and ends. At there, which is the first occurrence of that. So that's nice and easy, really. Right, um, uh, identifiers are uh, names that you give to um, variables, amongst other things. There's some other things as well, but uh, we'll come to those later. And um, identifiers, uh, you make them up, and uh, they consist of um, Unicode letters, uh, numbers, uh, dollar, or underscore with the additional restriction that they're not allowed to start with a number or be the same as a certain list of reserved words. Now, the, um, to do the number check, what actually happens is that um, the character, which you remember could be any Unicode character, is, is looked up in a table. And there are kind of two tables. And one says uh, whether it can be um, the start of an identifier. Another one says whether it can be part of an identifier. And um, those that are uh, down in this table um, uh, as being able to be the start of an identifier um, uh, don't include the numbers basically. Now the reserved words, there's two sets of reserved words, the literal reserved words which are null, true and false and the Java keywords and uh, we've seen some of these keywords already um, I've got byte there, long, int, float and so on. And there's a lot of others down here as well. That's a lot of them there. Okay, so you can't have um, any of those as an identifier. You can't name your variable do or double or import or anything like that because the compiler will get very confused. <laughs>